Welcome everybody. Welcome to my workbench. As messy as it is, it is my workbench. So I had a question from a good friend. Uh, he wants to set up a switch, an LGB type uh, 1201, 1202 um, electric switch. These are normally on the LGB system supposed to be hooked up through their switch box with uh, an AC circuit into it. Now, I use actually a car battery out back to run all my switches. I have two of these on my layout, but uh, for this demonstration here today, I'm just going to use uh, my one battery. It actually has a pretty good charge on it right now. Let's check the charge and see what we have. I am showing, oops, a little tough to cross them by yourself. Yeah about 12.34 volts so if you can see that okay that's 12.34 volts right now so I haven't charged this thing in about a year this is actually what I use on my solar systems out back so with that tested we know we have at least 12 volts on this uh, like I say out back I use a car battery so 12 to 14 volts and I actually keep it charged with a small 45 watt solar panel, one of these Harbor Freight ones, that is uh, on top of my little roof in the back. All right, so what I have here is a standard. This reads the 12, um, 1201. I think they're also 1202s. Mm, no, that's 1201 also. Anyway, uh, I wanted to show you how this is gonna work with this. Basically what I've done is I've taken a double throw, double pull, momentary center off switch. So the switch, if you push it to the left or your right, it only stays there momentarily. It'll return to center. Push it the other way to the left and it'll also return back to center. This is what they use for the sound devices uh, to raise and lower the sound systems on the Phoenix soundboards. So they're not bad. They're about five bucks a piece or four to five bucks a piece. I used to get them at Galaxy Hobbies until they closed doors. All right, now uh, I've wired this. Oh, the wiring on this. Okay, with this switch, the idea is, and that came under. Okay, with this switch, the idea is on one side, you want the current coming directly straight out, positive to negative, and it goes to the switch. But if you want to throw the switch the opposite way, you have to reverse the polarity on these two wires going in. So on one side, it's a direct route, positive to positive, negative to the negative, the dark and light wires. And then on the other side, I've run jumpers that go from here on this corner to the opposite corner here. And the same thing on this corner, I've gone to the opposite corner here. So it's just jumped straight across. So that when you do put power to this on one direction, it'll throw it one way. When you put power the other way, it'll go the opposite way. So let's try this out. And a lot of the trick to this is to keep from burning these things out. You want a momentary switch, and you don't want to hold that switch over. Okay. So negative and positive. I'm going to get a good one so I can see this. And it goes over. Throw it the other way. You don't need a very long stay at either side. 
one way, the other way, very quick. Now, Revolution made some slow-mo uh, switches where when you throw it, it brings it all the way over and then stops. So like I say, don't hold it over there. Just throw it, throw it back. All right. And I actually have some of mine set up on circuit boards. I'll try to put a picture of that in too that um, will tell you which way you're going to go. Okay. So again, just throw it one way or the other. 12 volts up to 14. Just wire it in. Use this switch. Now, this is what I drew up to give us an idea of how this circuit works. So, from your positive and negative coming into your switch, which is here in the center, there in the center, you have your main wires. Uh, from there, if you throw the switch one direction, it'll put the, the power up through these two wires going up to your switch. If you throw your switch down, then this switch is not connected up here anymore, but what happens is these two wires are crossed so they will pull your power back up, reversing the current to the opposite direction and throw the switch back the other way. A simple crossover, electrical. Thank you, my dad, for teaching me elect electrical. So, <clears throat> now let's take a look at one of these switches and see just what it is that uh, makes these things work. And if you want to run these things outside, you will want to make sure you either cover them up during the winters, not a bad idea if it's gonna rain, cover them up, or uh, cover them up um, and expect to have to still take them apart every summer. Ah, now you see how this one has all this dirt and grime at the top? That's from ants. We have a sugar ant up here, and it will get into these things and just plug them up. Okay, this is the unit that will throw your switch one way or the other, and this is just the simple little motor. This motor actually comes out, and your windings are up in here, which is, of course, where you put your power to, to throw uh, that unit back and forth. Uh, this one has been out for a long time, this one has two. This one has been outside for a couple of years now. And uh, God bless my friend who gave me these. Um, you'll want to take these apart at least once a year if you don't cover them up and uh, clean them up. They usually come off the rails pretty easily. It's just two screws and this unit will just lift right off and come out so they're easy to take off. By the way, there's a little tip right here that is what stops this from rolling side to side. So when you have this in here and it goes from side to side, that little tip will stop it. That's what keeps your bar from going too far when it throws this. That's another item I forgot to mention to you. These side pieces and of course this one, my friend, has lost this side piece, but uh, be careful when you pull these apart because these will fall off and you'll lose them in the garbage and everything. So, so it can run with one, but it really needs at least one in there. Okay, and I like to oil up the side. This is actually a little gear lube, so it's very light. It's plastic safe gear lube, but that way if it's going to rub on anything, it will keep it a little better protected. And I didn't use my mic. Hmm.
Now let's give it a quick try. There you go. So from one that would not run, it was so jammed up, so it runs very nicely now. You also need a very thin screwdriver head to be able to get into here without taking the top off. Okay. So there we go. Okay. LGB switches. So, thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can always get a hold of me anytime through this uh, YouTube channel. And my name is Mark. <coughs> I'm a garden railroader. And I hope a lot of you are too. And um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. We'll see you down the rails. And <laughs>